Welcome YouTubers to Front Engine Dragster Life in the Shop. Today I'm doing a video on a project. Uh, this is part two of an earlier project. So if you haven't seen the first one involving this truck, check it out. Um, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to uh, get more notifications for upcoming videos or to check out the rest of my channel. Uh... This is just a project truck that I bought to use and uh, to tow my drag car with. I have a front engine dragster you'll see on my other uh, videos. And uh, so what I did with this one was uh, took a 2003 Impala, removed the front seats, console, shifter. Still working on that as you can tell. Uh, still got to figure out what I'm going to do. For my aftermarket gauges so right now i'm still using the original gauges uh, yep. just had to fabricate some brackets to put the seats in the uh using the stock bench seat uh bolt holes and the additional bolt holes i had to drill in there and make the brackets and uh, hold the seats down. So, same thing on both the other seat as well. Uh, shorten the frame. So, this vehicle's this truck is originally a long bed, and uh, I shorten the frame. The wheelbase is now uh, five inches shorter than a short bed stock wheelbase would be but I wanted to retain the uh, longer long bed uh, leaf springs because this is a uh, what was considered a work truck so it has the so-called heavier duty rear springs uh, I took a gas tank fuel tank out of an 80 Monte Carlo Put a fitting in the bottom of the tank Run an electric fuel pump uh, on the frame up to the engine, of course. Just kind of got the exhaust on there for now, just to have exhaust on it. Still has the factory 8.6 10 bolt on it. Uh, so, like I said, this is a project. I'm still working on where I want to mount the hitch and everything. So, having to fabricate that as well. This is an ongoing project that I work on when I get time. Uh, when I got the truck, it still had the 305 fuel-injected engine, well, throttle body, TBI engine in it. Um, and that wasn't going to cut it, but it did have a turbo 400 transmission in it. That was not working right. When I had bought the truck, I was told it was rebuilt, but when I started to drive it home, uh, Bought the truck, and after I started driving it home, I found out that the train, well, the guy had lied to me, so there it is. So I knew the 305 wasn't going to cut it for what I wanted to use the truck for, so I built a, I kept the uh, accessory serpentine belt system off of this truck. Uh, I built a 400 short block for it, put a summit cam in it, hydraulic flat tap it. Nothing real crazy, just torquey. And the heads are off of a 1987 uh, Tuneport 350 uh, IROC Camaro engine. I did a valve job on it, on those. Put an Edelbrock aluminum intake on it. Just got the little 600 Edelbrock carburetor on it now. Electric choke. Works nice. Um, anyway haven't put I have not put this truck on the road yet still want to finish up a bunch of things and want to get the grill for it but right there I don't know if you can see it but it's got 223 miles on it and I did that I tripped that over so I could keep up with how many miles I have on the uh, engine and transmission as I did rebuild the transmission while I had the engine out um, so, 
took care of that problem. Uh, there you go. So, how, the reason it's got 223 miles on it is because, you know, just driving it to and from my shop, which is, you know, pretty much within a good walking distance from my house. And uh, I can drive it up and down the road a little bit. You know, it's not very far, maybe half a mile. So, you figure over a two year period, uh, you know, it's easy to acquire that kind of mileage. However, um, that's what I'm up to. So, obviously, I need a new grill. The old grill was no good. And I'm looking for one for the single headlights. Not the dual headlights like most of them are. I did find them at a, uh, a truck aftermarket company. But they want just as much to ship that grill as they do to, uh, as you pay for the grill itself. So, I'm not going to do that. Same on the fender. I need to put a passenger fender on it. Now, this truck was used at a local university campus, uh, probably since it was brand new. And uh, I bought it off of a gentleman about two hours north of here. And, uh, you know, so this truck got... It got beat up a little bit. The doors are not in the best of shape. I fixed them the best I could, but I'm not a body man. As you can tell, I need to put a tab corner on this side. I put one in on the other side. So, redid that one. It was eat out just as, with rust, just as bad as the other side was. So, I don't do that type of work very often. So, uh, anyway, uh, before this video gets too long, uh, just wanted to do an update video on this project. Uh, yeah, I am taking my sweet time, not by choice, because sooner or later you got to come up with the money to buy parts for your truck, so for your projects. And uh, uh, so when that when it gets to that point, I tend to figure out which project is most important at that time and work on it. So. Anyway, I'm going to do some kind of aluminum siding on the, you know, uh, I don't know if I'm going to do diamond plate from here down to here, and then just trim around the wheel and tire. Okay, so, little chain links here are welded on so you can hook a ratchet strap to it. Got another one right there. All right, folks, uh, thank you for watching this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. And like I said, subscribe to my channel. Alright, thank you.